Hey Pisces, how you doing? Welcome to Soulvine. This is Jamie. We are connecting in for your energies and let's see what is going on. I appreciate all of you who stop on by and really hope we can get you the messages that you need today. Thanks for all the comments, all the love. You know that I am sending it back in beams and bucket loads to you. So let's see guys, friends, uh, what is going down right now and how we can support your journey. So straight up for the overall arching energies, we have got daughter romance, happy family, contract, angel of strength. Mm -mm -mm. What is going on, Pisces? So something's opening it up. I'm not sure if this is your heart or someone coming towards you, um, connecting or wanting to share and express what they're feeling here. This is 33 going to a six, which is something that seems to be balancing out uh, that may have felt a little um, uncomfortable or unknown. I just feel like something's being open right now, whether again, this is you or someone approaching you. We've got happy family. This is like the four of wands energy. So this could be around a current connection that you have or someone you're currently connecting to that, you know, things are finally shining on this. Maybe there's some form of healing going on. Um, and the reason I say that, that because of contract here, something around maybe already a commitment that is there for some of you that may be married, but it could be that there's a connection that's new for you or new coming in where someone actually wants to commit and go deeper with you here on the journey. Interesting. We've got the angel of strength as showing up after that, which is talking about, I feel having confidence and trust and remembering that you're protected on your journey. So whatever's going on for you right now regarding this connection, I feel like you've potentially had to learn some lessons here or awaken some parts of yourself that maybe you hadn't visited in a little while or are uncovering and getting to explore. And this can be, you know, sometimes, like I said, uncomfortable, a little scary, especially when connections are deepening or connections are coming back together that have once been challenged or hurtful or you know bring up some past things that you have to work through or deal with so there's something here that's very strong that's very powerful and I think has got your attention you've got their attention uh, but there's a lot of I just feel a lot of feeling a lot of thoughts a lot of feeling around it so this is what I'm saying where it comes to um, feeling confident or having to learn some new things about yourself on how to how to work with this energy. It's it's an interesting one, Pisces. Definitely, it's an interesting one. So let's see where this is taking us, shall we? So I hope you're having a good start to 2024. You know, no pressure, but I think it's important. You know, to pay attention to how you're feeling. I've been writing a fun list. So instead of like all these goals and things like that, because obviously I do have goals and there's things that I need to go deeper on what I want to do. But reason I'm telling you is for yourself, because I think we put so much pressure because it is a new year. And I think we need to kind of release that pressure and just focus on the fun things that perhaps we want to accomplish or that we want to do. And then have other, you know, goals or aspirations that we can work towards. Um, sometimes they're milestones, you know, it's not all in all the things all at once. So be gentle on yourself, Pisces. Okay. Just going to get, thank you. We've got strength energy coming out again. All right. So man, your relate, your readings really coming out a lot about relationships for the last, I don't know how long <laughs> that's for sure. So I must be connecting into a lot of you around this energy or working with this energy right now. So just make sure if you haven't liked or subscribed, it just helps us connect. It's an energy transfer guys. It allows us to, to stay connected, to stay in touch, to, you know, get you the messages that you need. Um, and let, let us know that you're here and as always, if you comment or connect via email as part of our Solvine tribe, you know that I do get back in touch with you. So let's get rolling. Nine of Wands, Knight of Swords, The Lovers, Page of Pentacles, Strength and Five of Wands. The first thing coming through is really questioning someone's intentions here because someone has put you through a whole bunch of shit, it seems, Pisces. Um and, you know, the shit could be just a lot that you've had to work through. And 
Uh, yeah, I'm just feeling here there's something pretty pretty intense that's been happening. But again, you're questioning someone's intentions as they're coming towards you here. Something just feels um, a lot. It's interesting too. Maybe you've had to work through something because of a challenge in a connection and you've been working it. As part of working it, you're growing, you're expanding as a person and now somebody is coming on in and part of the challenge could be, are you ready? Or like you're maybe too exhausted to deal with whatever's coming through right now because it seems like there is a significant connection here with the lovers and the happy family energy, daughter romance, contract. There's something pretty significant here that I feel is being blessed. While it could be a choice, I feel, again, something significant here that's being blessed right now. Someone may be coming in to say, hey, Pisces, I want to make a go of this and maybe I haven't shown you a lot. I'm also scared kind of too, you know, you're facing each other here, wanting to have some form of conversation, connection, opportunity to go somewhere. Someone wants to invest here, there's no doubt. It may not be as big and, and that you think or what you're seeing, but I can see someone here is having the confidence to approach. Um, so I feel like someone may be connecting with you first before you're willing to connect is what I feel is happening here. Like someone's approaching you because I feel the strength energy is you right now here, Pisces, that you're holding strength, that you're holding confidence, you're feeling, you know, in a place that you, you're doing the work that you need to do because I can see there's been a little bit of a, a little bit of a bumpy road, a little bit of a hard road that's had you – you know, doing a pretty significant workout mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Okay. Uh, but I can just see that there's something here about want what to do with this. And this is why you could be having some courage because maybe you're not expecting this to show up or this to be happening right now. And you're just not sure what to do with this is what I'm feeling here. Let's dive in a little bit more and see what else spirit has. Nine of wands. What do we need to know here? Okay. So we've got the king of wands energy. Share more on who this king of wands is, please, spirit. Okay. So this king of wands could be somebody or a situation or a person that you've already built something with. Okay. Um, or maybe you have been dealing with them in a different capacity. And what I mean by different capacity is not in love, but in another type of project or situation. And maybe that's how you've met them. Um, or this is what is coming through this King of Wands energy. So this is a, a fire sign. This is your Leo Aries, Sagittarius energy. It's like someone maybe wanting to come back and say, hey, I want to work with you on this. We've already started building something. So what do we need to do to keep building on that? I feel you already know this energy in some way or shape or form, Pisces, okay? Even if it's a newer connection, I feel like you still you've had some form of connection with them already. It doesn't necessarily mean really recent, but I think you know this person or you've worked with this person or have dealt with this person in some form of committed environment, okay? Or some way that you connected with them was from some situation, place or event that you were a part of together, okay? But I feel like it's it's not just a swift, you know, Hey, how's it doing? How you doing? Kind of thing. Energy. Wow. You know, g'day. I like you kind of thing. This is more so, you know, them because you've spent time with them doing things, but I don't think at that time there was potentially anything romantic. Maybe, you know, you guys paid attention to each other. If that is your story. Okay. Uh, but for some of you, this could be an energy that you've already dealt with. This person has a lot of fire in their chart. You know, maybe they're a go getter, go do things, make things happen. Um, but they're really looking at something that they've built with you or wanting to build and create with you. Um, recognizing this is not something that they can just do and, and figure out on their own, that they, it's like they want to come together, make something come together, make something work. But interesting, we've got the Knight of Wands. What do we need to know? 
Yeah, so this Knight of Wands energy that's showing up here, I feel, Pisces, it's... It's uncomfortable for you because, again, I think you're questioning someone's intentions and you're not, you're feeling a bit stuck with this energy. So I'm not sure if it's part of your intuition that you're missing here or you're concerned or have some thoughts that are more, you know, thoughts that you're just thinking about. Maybe this is happening. Maybe that's happening. I just, I'm feeling a little anxious around this Knight of Wands energy. What else do we need to know? Yeah. Okay. Again, I'm just, I feel like you're questioning their intentions. Are they kind of messing with you a little bit? You know, are they trying to manipulate you to get what they want? Um, let's get one more on this Knight of Wands energy. There's no doubt here. This person is really fired up for you, Pisces. I think they realize... Look at that. I don't know if you've already had this energy with them or that's just how you feel about them, how they feel about you. But this person ain't given up, is not giving up, whatever this is. Like they're really coming towards you and really going to make themselves known. Uh, they see you as you're the person that they've been trying to call in for I don't know how long. Um or recognizing, you know, sometimes people recognize the great things they have after you kind of have a problem or you leave or you don't put energy into it anymore. Because I feel your energy has been elsewhere. I don't feel it's been directly connected in this connection. That's the energy that I'm feeling. It's a bit disconnected from this. So when this comes around, you're kind of exhausted. You've been working on yourself trying to deal with, like I said, some shit <laughs> that you've had to deal with. Um, so... Now it's kind of like, are you serious? Now you're coming? Now you're knocking over here? I don't know if I'm kind of ready for this um, or wanting to deal with this. But I, And that's probably where you're coming in with this Eight of Swords. Like, what is this person's intentions? Because it seems like here that something regarding a connection kind of ended at some point. Share more. Yeah. So a commitment had ended at some point, it seems. What else do we need to know here with this Terrafin energy? Yeah, because something, what someone moved on from this connection. It could be that you're still tied to this connection energetically. You feel that this person is a person you're supposed to do life with or that you feel connected in a place like having to make a decision because you still have hope for this connection and maybe something new's come through or a new person's showing up. Like I said, someone that you've once known has maybe got wind or learned that, hey, Pisces is, you know, doing their own thing right now um, or I know something's going on. Uh, yeah, so it's really interesting what's opening up here. Share more on the Page of Pentacles. Interesting, another page, Page of Swords. Oh, gosh, I do. I feel the, the little bit of it's like these little kicks of anxiety, you know, and the anxiety is kind of like. It's like you might learn something or find something and your heart beats a little quick and it's like, oh, my God, what is this? What does this mean? And it, it's like a little bit of freak out mode. That's what I'm getting. But it's not like a lasting one. It's just like they come in little waves when something may happen or you think something's happening and it's like, shit, what is it? Are they contacting me or did this happen online or – and but I don't – you're not focusing on it but it pops up now and then about something that it kind of gets your attention or gets you a little bit rapid heartbeat – gets your little breath going. But again, it's just an in and out energy. But what I feel is that you're wondering if someone is watching what you're doing and that could be pressure on you. Um, I don't know if you're watching someone here, Pisces, or vice versa, but I feel like someone's watching what you're up to, what you're doing, if something has ended here, okay? Because I can see that someone has moved on. We can see this here or someone is choosing to move on. Your timeline could be your own right at the end of the day we're each in different spaces but in saying that share more on this ten of wands energy what is it that you're thinking about here okay so it seems like 
this energy that's kind of maybe taking a peek at you, watching what you're doing, wondering whether to approach you or not here. You've also got the Knight of Swords and Seven of Cups because that's what this is about. Should they be approaching you? Should they be coming in? And I think that's what they're trying to decide here. But again, this could be vice versa energy, but I feel like someone's trying to figure out, do I approach Pisces? Do I open up a conversation with them? Um, maybe I should suss it out first. And I don't know whose energy this is, if this is the new energy or an old energy. I'm feeling it's a bit newer energy, but it could be because that person has been disconnected for a little bit. So it kind of feels a little bit fresher. Uh, let's see what else we need to know here with the strength. Okay. What else do we need to know about the Knight of Pentacles? Boy, oh boy, is someone really struggling here on what to do with you? <laughs> I don't know what this is about. Maybe it's you not knowing what to do with the, this energy, but I just feel like this Knight of Pentacles might have some things that they need to do first before they approach you and they're trying to figure that out. Maybe they don't feel like they've got their situation in uh, the strongest uh, position, you know, financially, um, materially, things like that. But they want to approach you. They definitely want to come towards you. But I'm seeing something just moving a bit slow. What else do we need to know here? Yeah. And that's why. It's because something ended. I think something was pretty brutal, you know, at some point in time here. And maybe it could have been the ending was pretty brutal. And they're trying to recover from it. In addition to the recovery, this could also be you recovering from it because I can see the nine of ones. You have a different approach to your recovery, uh, even in the hurt, the pain and everything else. And this is where they can't figure out because I think this person may have messed up a fair bit and a part of them messing up is like, okay, well, damn. Okay, I can kind of see what I've done. So this is in, this is interesting. So this naturally, and I didn't, I've only just connected into this is this is someone talking that you already know, that you've already had a connection with. That's who this approach is. And it only just dinged as I was channeling, guys. So um, there's something here about someone that wants to approach you that where I think there's been a pretty hard and significant ending, but they don't know how to do it. And they probably don't know how to do it if they really hurt you and expecting you just to open your door and, yeah, come in. Let's just – everything's fine because it because it isn't, you know, at the end of the day. So this person's figuring out how to come towards you because of some new beginning. But there, like I said, there's some conflict here that's going on. What's this conflict? Yeah. They're in conflict because, gosh, you know – People realizing what's gone after it's gone. Welcome to real life. And, you know, I'm, I'm lovingly supportive of you, Pisces, and I'm also annoyed for you, Pisces, because whatever has happened with this connection or situation, it has been not easy for you and you're in recovery phase you're doing your thing you're feeling courageous maybe you've got a new interest here or someone that wants to do something with you you know maybe you've got a new opportunity with your career like things are feeling good even though there's been some endings things are feeling good and yeah I'm sure you think of this person too or whatever it may be but this energy is really dominating really dominating and what I mean by that is this person whoo they think about you, I think, a lot. You don't realize it. Maybe they're going through old photos, things like that. Like they're really paying attention to you and what you're doing because you probably haven't been in contact with them since this ending because I don't know if it's you that moved on. Put it this way. I think with this connection, it ended. I don't know directly if you ended this with them but it got to a point that their behavior kind of ended this. And what I mean by that is I think you were willing to stand for whatever this was. And I mean not stand up with their bullshit, stand in the, in the hope and potential that things will shift, they will wake up. And eventually it got to a point that it kind of just went and it was hurt, painful, difficult, 
even though you had been through a hard time getting to that point, I think in the end, it just became a lot and really took a lot out of you. And like I said, you've been focusing on yourself, doing your thing. Um, there's something really awesome though. I feel coming in and surrounding you, but this energy, like they're really holding on. And I think you even know intuitively, like, is this person coming on through? You, you, you feel something here. I really believe you feel something here, Pisces. I'm just going to get um, a couple more questions here to see what else we need to know. Yeah, I just, wow, they're really in your energy. For them to be really in your energy, I just feel and mean like they're, you're a constant thought for them, a way, like they're trying to figure out a strategy or a way forward, you know, um, is what I feel. What does this King of Wands want with Pisces? Mm. Oh, interesting. The energy coming through this. So this King of Wands, I think is different to the energy that you were with. Okay. That's what I'm feeling here. Um, and like I said, there's someone that you've once known or once connected to with this Six of Cups energy. The Two of Wands is like they're looking at how to approach you because they probably know or are aware that if there has been a breakdown in connection with someone, because I think this person might have figured it out or is recognizing this, that they may reach out to you, but I think they're looking at how do I reach out to you, right? Because mindful of what you're feeling and what you're going through. But in addition to this, I still feel underneath all of this, Pisces, there's an energy that just really like soulmate ties connection here. And still they know that they've hurt you. This is other energy and they're looking at how to approach you. I'm sorry, but that still keeps coming up in the same energy. Share more on this door to romance. What do we need to know about this door to romance? Let's get some more on this door to romance. Thank you, spirit. So this is the four of swords energy. So again, this is, seems to be coming through this energy because of the way that you've been taking care of yourself. Like I said, with this nine of um, wands energy, you've been going hard, but part of you going hard is not on the outside that people see. It's just all the recovery that you've had to also explore and do to stay at the forefront of whatever you're dealing with, right? So you're being smart about it. I think this is more an inner battle for you. And what I mean by that is just more so the inner work, um, doing what you got to do, keeping busy, taking care of yourself, which is part of this self-care with this four of swords. And also to probably energetically, you haven't been in touch with this other energy. And I feel like there's some newness coming on through. What else do we need to know about this four of swords energy? Six of Pentacles, the chariot. Yeah, you wanted to create an environment or be in an environment that just felt like finally you're connecting with people that show up just as generous as you, as caring as you, as thoughtful as you. It's just finally you feel like you're meeting people at your level, okay? And you're really wanting to balance out your life on all levels, spiritually, emotionally, financially, you know, kind of working that way and how you do it. For some of you, you might be really into right now um, exercise and just different health plans that or health routines that make you feel really good because I can see whatever's happening here amongst whatever's gone quiet, amongst of whatever's, you know, taking care of yourself, which I love, Pisces. There's something that an opportunity that's opening up, a new pathway that's opening up, but it's moving forward quite quickly, it seems. What do we need to know about this happy family energy? Wheel of fortune. Uh, so, you know, this is something that's changed. There's something that has cycled out or something that's definitely cycling in. And wheel of fortune is fortune. This is like something really amazing that's happening here. What else do we need to know with this wheel of fortune energy? I don't know, I'm just feeling fun, guys. I'm feeling fun. High Priestess, Four of Cups. Hmm. So funny. 
Yeah, because I think, and the reason I'm saying so funny, it just said like, it says apathy on top. And I'm like, yeah, because you got to a point with a certain connection that was there. Um, like I said, at one point being invested and now it's like this energy, even though they really want to come towards you again here, Pisces, there's a part of you that just doesn't give two flying Fs is what I feel like you've just empowered yourself so strongly. And I think they can feel that. And that's probably why they're trying to approach now this old energy or this connection that you were with that you, you know, soulmate energy, soulmate connection. But it's like they can feel you have moved on energetically. And a part of that is like they know they messed up. So how to, they're figuring out a way, but you just don't freaking care. You're like tables have turned, things have changed. I had to figure this out. So guess what? You're going to have to figure this out too after you, after whatever's transpired. But intuitively, you know, you've probably been keeping things not so much. I think you've been hiding things for a lot of you on what you're doing or what's next for you. And maybe they're looking on social media. For some of you, I know that you post on social media just to go, yeah, look at me, watch me roll, watch how, you know, those things, hoping that they do see them. But for I also feel a lot of you don't put things out online as much as you used to. And you're keeping things to yourself, which I think is kind of like, making it even more difficult because they can't see what you're up to. Maybe it's a good thing for them, but at the same time, they can't get anything that trying to understand where you're at. But I can just see with whatever approach or whatever change is happening, this dynamic that was your ultimate and happy place at some point, you don't really care for like you used to care for. And um, there's just good things coming in. I think it's just you're putting your energy elsewhere and it's really great for you, Pisces. Share more on this contract energy. Got the five of pentacles. So this is where, you know, someone, I, I feel someone potentially abandoned this connection, okay? Or this opportunity. Four of wands, yeah. So we've got the four of wands showing up twice here. Mm. It is saying something about a reunion. What else do I need to know about this four of wands? What do we need to know about this four of wands? Five of swords. Yeah. It's just too much conflict here. Maybe there are some legalities that you're going through with someone uh, with the contract and the five of swords energy. Uh, I just know, even though these things might be going on, you're really at a place, Pisces, that you're just not putting energy into this right now, whatever this is. And I, I feel it's a person and maybe this person is trying everything right now to get your attention. Um, yeah, super interesting, but you just, you don't want a part of it. You're looking at what is next for you. You've all, you've recognized, I've got to accept this wheel of change. I know good things are coming and I'm not going to sit in what was or what could have been. I'm going to open myself up to, 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 I feel like the energy is you're opening yourself up to yourself, but being open enough just to see what happens. And I think naturally with loving yourself, caring for yourself, putting things in this, just feeling at whole because the six of pentacles I feel is a lot being at whole with self, you know, this giving to yourself, things coming in at the same time, like your energy is lifting and it's just bringing in all this good stuff. But underneath this person just, you know, there's something like they're going to come knocking. I think you even know this and, and it's like, I don't even want to deal with it though. Like, yeah, okay. That's good to know that in, in some form of closure. Yeah. Damn right. You know that you messed up. Damn right. You know, you, you should have done better and should have appreciated me. Right. That's the kind of energy. But at the same time, there's this part of, um, you don't want to deal with it either because you don't care for it anymore because you've started to do the work that you need to do to take care of yourself. And I think that's, what's this hard thing. If this person's coming around saying that they want to do everything blah, 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 blah for you. It's like, well, I don't, I don't believe it. I've, I've been through enough to know otherwise. Angel of strength. Thanks. Temperance. Yeah. So this is you 
taking time for you. This is you balancing things out. This is you powering up, healing, awakening. There's a lot of beautiful energy with this te temperance. I just, I feel, wow. Yeah, you're taking back control. You're taking back control in your life. You're taking back building your own sense of um, feeling stable, stability. Maybe for some of you, you're starting and new projects, which I can see this could be a potential project that's coming in with this King of Wands that you get to work with that could end up being something more or someone that you've previously worked with is ends up coming back around and asking you to work with them. And like I said, this could be something potential here. Um, let's get a final message on what we need to know on the outcome. What is the outcome here for Pisces? We've got the Page of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Death Energy. Wow, this is really powerful, really powerful. I think... I just feel any anything related to the best way to explain this, this energy, the page of swords and the death energy. I feel like anything related to that you still look at, watch, connect to around, um, this former person, like you're totally cutting that out. You're totally letting go here, which is kudos to you because it's putting you in such a strong strength. But the reason it's happening is it's a natural occurrence. And what I mean by that is that there's been a new focus and this new focus is about your passionate path. This is about where you feel like you're doing things that make you feel good and a part of you doing things that make you feel good and while it may not have been as easy to get here, I can see that you've been doing the work and this work is really taking you to a place that's happy, that feels good, that feels content and anything, you know, small that used to make you curious on some part of the past, I feel like you're just totally kicking that out and just have nothing more to give to that. Um, I just think it's so, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. That's too many. Just get one more. Uh. So you've got the three pentacles again which I said there's someone I think or something. Oh, look at this. King of Wands with the Queen of Wands energy. So there seems to be a connection here with this King of Wands that may be approaching you that you get to work with or partner with in some way. For some of you, this could be in the workplace. But wherever this is taking you, I feel like this is opening your heart um, really, really nicely. And like I said, it's just... It's a healthy, supportive new chapter for you here, Pisces, whatever this is. Whether this is romantic or not, it could just be like total crushing on each other, platonic kind of thing that you guys just to get to enjoy whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you're doing. You know, you both inspire each other and can see like the amazing things that you can do together. Does it open up something romantic? Maybe it depends, you know, what the situation is. But what I like about it is it's separating you from the things that needed to fully end and the things that you were paying attention to that were kind of keeping your heart in place with this other energy. But I can see that you're really letting this go um, in a really supportive way and embracing this new. You've got the Ten of Cups twice, okay? You've got the Three of Pentacles twice here. You've got the Happy Family, Four of Swords twice. So there's something new, some gateway, some pathway that's opening for you. Things are changing so positively that you're getting back on. It's kind of like getting back on the horse, just meaning like you're getting back in control of moving things forward. And I think things are going to be changing a lot quicker than you may realize. That's giving you more confidence. It's giving you more drive and just 
giving you that confirmation of damn right I'm Pisces. Yes, like I have got so much to give and people recognize it. They see it through you as you move forward and keep doing you. And I think naturally along the path, people are seeing these changes. I don't know how they're seeing these changes, whether you're online or not, or just through the grapevine, people are kind of sussing stuff out. But you know what? You're in a good place. You have so much choice and opportunity available to you that you don't even need to rush. You can keep doing you and do you confidently. And I think so many doors are just going to open here for you, Pisces. So I really love that. Leave that with you, dear ones, and we'll connect soon. Bye.